Hey guys, I'm your host, Courtney Najedley at 3F Life. So who am I, right? That's the question you're all asking. Well, my story actually begins about a year ago in February 2013. And at that point in my life, I was working in hotel sales and I was desperate for a career change. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Previously, I had worked in various aspects of public relations, fashion, beauty, and entertainment. And then I also had an opportunity that came up with sales and it was just a good fit because it was easy hours and it allowed me to pursue things that I really enjoyed doing. And that was photography and film on the side. And anyhow, I had been working for three years in hotel sales and I was just desperate to hear from God and to figure out what it is that I was really meant to do with my life. And about at the age of 12, I had wanted to pursue a career as a television host, but I really didn't know how that was gonna happen and if it was realistic and whether it would transpire. Well, I actually was browsing my Instagram news feed one day and I came across this woman that looked oddly familiar. Her name was Allison McNamara and she was a television host for Pop Sugar. Well, I didn't know any of that until I had requested her friendship, but I thought she was actually a friend I played soccer with. Her name was Elizabeth McNamara. Obviously, this wasn't the same girl. So I requested her friendship and I'm looking through her photos on Instagram and I come to find out, I don't know this girl at all, but she happened to be in New York City at the time uh, for Fashion Week. And she had all these really cool photos from Fashion Week and I thought, well, I'm gonna keep this girl as a friend. So about a week and a half passes and Allison had taken a selfie in my hotel elevator bank that I worked in. And you could only tell in this photo that she was in my hotel because of the rope detailing that was like, I don't know, a few inches from the bottom of the shot. And I instinctively knew where she was and I thought, well, this is oddly coincidental. And so I responded to the photo and I thought, well, maybe she'll respond, I don't know. And in fact, she did and said, if you see me in the hotel, please say hello. Well, I told my revenue director at the time, thinking how strange this occurrence was and she thought well maybe we should get her to do some sort of social media for the hotel acknowledging that she's here for a fashion week and she's staying at our property well Allison was willing and able and we ended up meeting up in the hotel lobby just talking about life and how funny this was and how small the world can be and Allison made sense of my future she said you know I, I look at your past and it really makes sense that you should pursue a career as a television host. Well, I really wasn't thinking about it at that time. I had really let the dream die, so to speak. And um, so Allison, she was the catalyst in which I decided to pursue this career. Well, I went to a conference in Australia following that conversation and I just was trying to make sense of everything that had just happened. and really praying to God, trying to discern what it was that he wanted me to pursue because at that point I felt like my resume was all over the map as a 25 year old then and um, so I ended up coming back and I prayed and God gave me a sense of direction and said I've given you everything you need to be successful in this industry and lo and behold people started showing up in my life that we're kind of making this path really easy for me. And um, don't get me wrong, it's been a difficult, long, arduous journey, but here I am and I'm, I'm sharing my, my story with you guys. And I just want to encourage all of you to pursue your dreams and to recognize that if God put a dream on your heart, it's for a purpose and he wants to see that through. So I hope you enjoy Faith, Fortitude, and the Fullness of Life. It's really my mantra that I try to lead every day. And I'm anxious to take you on this journey as my story progresses, so I hope to see you soon. Bye.